Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Pinar, so welcome back to the Dark Pictures Little Hope. Before we get started in this episode, I just want to say that if any of you want to be notified for any of my videos, make sure you have the notification bell on and switch to all notifications, because I know some people don't get all of the notifications, or YouTube just decides not to send them. So make sure you do that. But anyways, we are hopping back in to Little Hope, right where the last episode left off, and we are running from Daniel's version of the demon. So, let's get started. We saw Mary up on the bridge there, but then she ran off. Let's just, uh, let's see if we can maybe find her. We keep seeing her, but we can never actually talk to her. She doesn't talk to us, at least. Okay, we can't go that way. So we have to go this way? Yep. Alright, let's do this. Okay, we got something flashing on the ground. Oh, it's a body. Looks like a body. Nope, just cardboard. Lang and Abrams, attorneys at law. To Frank McCarthy, dear Mr. McCarthy, following our conversation last week, we have received news that the consortium have been unable to raise the finance to complete the deal with the Carver family for the purchase of Little Hope Textiles, I believe that's what it stands for and their real estate around the factory. I understand that your conversations with the family have revolved around retaining jobs for former factory workers on the... Nothing on the back. There's a lot of sounds happening right now that I'm not enjoying. I think we've covered all the pictures that we've been seeing. I'm gonna take a look. We haven't looked at our pictures in a while. Uh, let's see. We have this one here. Okay, we've passed this one. That one is officially passed. We haven't passed this one. This one is just awful. What about this one? This is an Angela one, right? Angela's dead, so that doesn't matter anymore. We haven't passed this one. I still don't know who that guy is. But we have a gun. We did throw away the gun. Maybe this is a premonition for the next game. I don't know. It might be. Okay, we passed this one. We've already picked up the knife. And what about this one? This is another Angela one, right? Yep, Angela's dead, so that doesn't matter. Looks like we're missing a couple of pictures here. I know we missed one in the diner when we first met Vince. So that's one picture we don't have. I have no idea what was on that picture. But I know we missed one. Now hopefully we can meet up with John and Taylor. Useless John and Taylor. Professor? Professor? Hey! You guys! Andrew? Daniel? made it no thanks to you this time yeah not sure how much longer my luck can hold for real. oh my god <laughs> thought i'd lost you this isn't over that thing back there is still after me John. I think that one's John's. And if you spotted that kid, Mary? Not seen her. We still don't know her name in this timeline. Got another symbol here. I've seen this before. Yeah. I think it was attached to uh that TC thing we saw. I could be wrong. I wonder if TC is that Tilly person. I figured what the Tilly in the far or her last name was. You see that? Stay on your toes. Anything could happen. No 
no one in Little Hope is safe while you still draw breath, Joseph. You must die today. Not even your wife Amy was spared your lust to serve Satan. Damn me if you must. You're not fit. Speaking of my God, wife, all these ways to kill people. Good you. lord. I must drive the devil out for the safety of everyone here. Oh, no one is safe. Oh. Joseph, do you renounce the devil and all his teachings? I carry no sin. I'm no disciple of the devil. I'm found as infected with madness. Boy, you but saints, servants. We have to stop this. Help Joseph confront Mary. Help Joseph. It's not gonna matter, but we'll help him. Be no more doubting. This is witchcraft. More stones. Jesus. The devil must be crushed from within him. Do not flinch. The fate of little orc rests in your hands. See, everything we do to help makes matters worse. This is awful. This might be the worst one. The crushing. So that didn't help. I feel like if we confronted Mary, our relationship with John would have went down. But I don't think it would have mattered. What happened? Tell me. We don't have a lot How about of you stay with the group? Look, John. John, get away from it. I'm tired of running. John. Are you crazy? We gotta move. <sighs> Come on, you fuck unready. You're not ready. Okay, I guess we're ready. That one was a little tricky. I'm starting to recognize some of these symbols. Get up, John. Oh my god. How's that feel, fucker? Oh my goodness. That might be the worst one yet. That's terrifying. Oh my god, come on. Kick him. Jeez. Oh my god. Thank you, Andrew. Get in here! Ooh. That was freaking close. We gotta go! Like now! Leave me and go, help me. Andrew! Andrew! I need you here! They give us this option a lot to be heroic. And I don't think I've taken it any time. Is it gone? I don't see it anymore. My thought is that it defeats the whole purpose of stick together if you tell them to leave. I'm sorry. 
I could be wrong and I could end up with all of them dying. We need to figure a way out of here before that thing finds a way in. Place looks like it burned down. Something here isn't right. Oh. Something isn't right is this shitty town's motto. Is this the house? I think this is the house from the beginning of the game. I could be wrong, but I'm getting that feeling. This is our house. All right, looks like we got another picture here. Yep, next game. That is definitely the next game. What's it called? Oh, this is just called Rope. Okay. So I feel like we're getting to the end of the game now because we got the little hope picture near the end of the last game. Inspect. Okay, tire swing. So we're back here or that tire swing is following us? Interesting. I can't get out of this. Okay, now I can. Yep, there goes Taylor's. Wait a minute. Now that I'm realizing Tanya died the same way that Tabitha died by being hung by her scarf in the beginning of the game. And David died the same way. Hey. And David died the same way Daniel did, by being impaled. John died the same way because he was crushed by the... The house? Yeah, he was crushed by the roof in the beginning of the game. Wait, what is that? That looks like... There we go. James and Anne. Yep. You're gonna want to see this. How the mother died? Did she drown? This is for real. In the beginning of the game? Angela and I were married. You guys are married in two different timelines too. So that that goes to show you something something stay the same. The Martin Guide to Successful Parenting by Andreas Vogel. Nothing on the back. Jeez. Parents unhappy with their own upbringing can overcompensate. They might not want their child, their children, to feel the same way as they do about their own parents. They yearn to be friends with their offspring, so parents accept theories and in encourage love as the solution to conflict. This leads to the belief that if their children misbehave, they should not be angry or punish them, but instead indulge in ever greater displays of love. Spoiling a child in this way, crap. Can I go back? I can't go back. Parents must actively intervene in establishing limits. A child that box can be forced to do what's acts of them, whether it's stopping them drawing or turning the TV off. A well-adjusted parent can stand up to their children while maintaining friendly relations, be firm in the face of refusal or yelling. In time, the children, in time, the child will learn where the boundaries of acceptable behavior lie bad manners as he progresses towards adolescence a child is apt to lose his manners he talks tough leaves his shoelaces untied and arrives at the dinner table with dirty hands many things are happening here he's adopting models of behavior of other children his age of other kids his age and asserting his independence he's fine with this behavior Parents imagine the child has forgotten all they've taught him, but he hasn't. He knows good behavior from bad, or he wouldn't rebel against it. Parents should understand that their child is growing up normally. This is all geared towards boys. Angry feelings from a child are normal. Parents should acknowledge these without excusing misbehavior. A child needs to understand the difference between hostile feelings and hostile actions. The basis of well-adjusted behavior is the ability to recognize feelings and decide how to act on them. Some boys may show no open rebelliousness, while girls show less bad manners than boys. Attentive parents can detect a change of aptitude. They may... 
Oh, we can actually go back. All right, I'm not going to read that, but you can pause if you want to. I'm going to keep flipping pages. Okay, this looks like it was the last page. Let's go ahead and drop it. So a book on parenting they had. Maybe it's because they adopted all their children and they wanted to make sure they did as good of a job as possible. All right, looks like we have a picture over there. Maybe that's the picture we already saw. I'm going to try to wrap back around there. Yeah, I think we already saw that. Yeah, we definitely saw this one. Yep, okay. Let's go ahead and drop that. Let's see if we can get into another room or possibly upstairs. All these sounds outside are freaking me out. All right, we have a window. Bricks. Okay. Is that how John's going to die from these bricks? It must be. I can't leave. Now I can. Okay. We're, something's getting set up here as well. Jesus. Okay. Things are definitely getting set up. So, from the tire swing where someone can obviously be hung, we had Taylor's ghost. Now, from the bricks, we have John's. Okay, that was definitely Megan from the first timeline. Oh boy. How do I get to the stairs? I think we have to go this way. Alright, that's the book we saw. There's the stairs. Let's check out this room before we go to the stairs. What are we going to see out of this window? All I see is a road here. Alright, let's back off. Okay, there's Daniels. It's like they're preparing for a boss battle. Good lord. I'm not gonna take a second peek out of any of these windows. I refuse to. Letter from Reverend Carver, September 71. Reverend Leonard Carson. Wait, what does it say? Carson. Okay, I said Carver. My bad. Dear Anne, thank you for your letter regarding Megan. I understand your concerns and assume and assure you that your daughter's rebellious behavior is not unusual. I've helped parents with similar issues and would be happy to help with Megan's moral guidance. Hebrews 12:11 says that all discipline seems painful rather than pleasant, but later it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness. Please see me after the service on Sunday so we can arrange time for some personal instruction. Reverend Carson. Okay, we got another window there. We got... Is this the clock? It is the clock. So we're already set that this is the house. This is obviously the house. Jeez. Can I pick up that key? Tell me I can grab that key. You're telling me I can't grab that key? I feel like that's important. But if the game says we can't, we can't. Alright, time to go up the stairs. Nothing over there. <sighs> Alright, here we go. Looks like this is our way. What was that? Gotta be the girl. Let's go find her. We're just going to call her Megan until we, fig we figure out what her name is. She's in here. What the hell? Stay here.
Andrew, what's going on? I'm having flashbacks of my. <laughs> I'm never prepared for those. No, wait. You protect me. You must. Wait, this isn't right. No way. I assure all gathered here today that our town will be free of the devil's grasp. Together, by God's grace, little hope will prevail. My word on it. This court is hastily convened, but with good reason. If we are to finally rid ourselves of the evil which has infested little hope, then we must act today. I accuse you, Mary, of witchcraft. What say you, Reverend? The evidence, as discovered through my investigation, is beyond question. Mary uses her puppet as a familiar to summon and serve the devil. We have been deceived by a child, by her guise of innocence. This puppet was mistakenly used to denounce Tabitha. But it has always belonged to Mary, and Mary alone. She allowed her own kin to be executed as she watched in silence. That is not so! Liar! Now this tainted child, this creature of Satan, has the marrow to accuse me, a man of God, of wrongdoing! This is crazy! These people have lost their freaking minds! It was never my intention to bring harm to this town, or its people. Can you not help me? What can I do? If I could do something to stop this, I would, but now in her hour of greatest need, I don't this child that. of the damned pleads once more for the Wait. devil's help. I beg the court's indulgence. Please guide me at this time. This I seek your counsel. There's something wrong in this town. Carver is evil. There's something wrong in this town. No question there is something very wrong here. Right in the heart of this place. There can be no doubt that little hope is afflicted. That darkness has taken hold of our town. There is not a man or woman here today who does not already know that no devil one's going to believe is. Carver is evil. The sole purpose of this court is to remove evil, not indulge it further. Our time is not for wasting. You got this all twisted. Mary isn't to blame. How do I make my decision? If I am wrong, condemn an innocent. Destroy child. the doll. The child has to pay. Destroy the doll. The only way I can see out of this is to get rid of that damn doll. Destroy that and... The puppet must be cast asunder. Maybe this all goes away. It is the cause of Mary's affliction. It holds her in its thrall. Destroy this puppet and the devil will depart Mary. She will be restored, an innocent child. Reverend, burn the puppet. Destroy it. Must not act in haste. Oh, okay. The girl must face the full consequences of My her deeds. My authority is not for questioning. Do as I ask. We should have burned the thing ages ago. That's my bad. You did everything you could. Don't blame yourself. None of this is your fault. That's it, right? I figured that if the doll... And then that would be the end of it. You made the right call. I hope so. No way you could have seen what was going to happen. That accident is not on you. Whatever questions we still got, they won't be answered now. Let's just get out of here. What's up? You okay? I think we've seen the last of that kid.
stick together. Number one. No one ever sticks together. Now we're outside helpless oh, once again. No. Oh my god. What's happening? Oh my god. If we unlocked any of that stuff, would we have survived? I don't know. I don't get it. We didn't lock anything. He's dead too. What the hell? Oh my god. Did we unlock anything for her? Oh my god. Are we getting into another timeline? Wow. Wow. And we're outside hopeless once again. So it seems like history repeats itself constantly. Nothing we do actually matters. At least as it comes to Andrew. Watch his family burn. Watch all his friends die. Horribly. God. I thought I might find you here. Hey, Vince. We'll been through the trenches, huh? Yep. Both of us been through some real tough time these past years. Nothing but ghosts left here now. Free piece of advice. You stay out of that place. This is what you had. Believe me, I know what I'm talking about. I believe you, buddy. About 10 minutes down the road, there's a diner. I got a working phone in it. Don't come back. Ain't nothing here for you no more. Oh, bus driver. We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Is Andrew the bus driver? Andrew's the bus driver. Yeah, I'm fine. Anthony. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. Wow. I doubt a short delay will trouble him too much. So you're telling me that nothing, none of this was real. 
He was just having flashbacks. The poor kid from the beginning of the game. Can everyone just shut up? Wow. This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. That's awful. Hi there. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Sounds like you could use a drink. Better not, thanks. You need to keep a clear head. So we run into the church and refuse to. I'm so glad I didn't shoot. Oh man. Hurry up! We probably would have killed him. What the hell is going on in there? Get the hell out of here. I'll go once I look you in the eye. Now let me in. So we didn't kill Angela. Hey! I don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in. Wow. That's insane. You know, I definitely did not see that coming. Not at all. But it looks like... That's it. Game over. <laughs> You're done. For now, at least. You could always try again, see if you can get a different result. I don't think there's a point. That's the problem with demons. If you don't lay them to rest, they will haunt you forever. Not a very happy ending. Or maybe it is. Depends on what makes you happy, really. And you... Eventually, found him. The bus driver. Yes, we did. Maybe he can now put the past behind him. <laughs> Till we meet again. Maybe in the South Pacific, South Pacific, or the Arabian Desert, or somewhere else. So that's at least two to three more games, right? But we will meet again. I believe you. There's two more books that we saw at the beginning at of the game. At least one more time. Twice. Two more. I think. Wow. You know, I actually like this game a lot better than Man of Medan. Well, I'm going to cut out this song because I know there's a song going, but let me know what you all thought of Little Hope. I, like I said, I like this game a lot more than Man of Madon. I really, I think it was so much more creepier than Man of Madon. Like there weren't that many jump scares that I can remember in Man of Madon, but I am definitely looking forward to playing the next game whenever it comes out. But let me know if you all want to see that. And let me know what you think of the game overall. But that is going to bring us to the end of our Let's Play of the Dark Pictures Little Hope. If you enjoyed it at any point, please leave a like and consider subscribing. If you didn't, however, leave a comment. Let me know why. Once again, please turn on the notification bell and click all notifications so you can actually be notified for any of my future videos. But with that said, I will see you all in the next one. Later.